Hello y'all, it's Regina again. We're gonna go into Dollar Tree and see what's going on up in here. I'm interested to see if we've changed up anything. Let's go. Okay, I'm in the Dollar Tree Plus section and y'all, fall has hit and Halloween too. So we're gonna take a minute and check it out and see what's over here. So starting on the end, we have these large chessboard, cheeseboard wall decors for $3. It says, hello, fall. These are huge. Look how big that is. It's gonna fall on my head too if I'm not careful. It has the burlap twine around it with the little beads on the end. That's a nice touch. And then we have some two-tiered trays for $5. That's pretty nice. It's wooden. Let's see, look, this is the same set down here. Yep. That's really nice. Okay, and then next to that we have the 50 count baking cups that have the sunflowers on it or just the solid orange for $3. And behind it we have the blue cups with the pumpkin and flowers, the autumn flowers on one side and the plain solid. Oh no, that's a checkered pattern with light and dark blues in it. That's really pretty for $3. Let's see if there's any more back there. Oh, of course. Oh, that says gift thanks on it. So this one probably says that too. I just can't see it because the cup is turned around. But they say gift, gift thanks on them and then they've got the sunflower one as well. Yep, those are very nice. I like those pretty. And up top we have these different decorative pumpkins. They're light up pumpkins. This one is an ivory. These are metal pumpkins. This one is um, a deep mauve color, almost purple. And we have uh, a metallic orange color. And we have this one that's on a stand. It has three pumpkins that are ivory with the checkered bow tie and a, look at that, that's a curved metal piece that's black and ivory. That is really pretty. And it has these silver leaves with a touch of black around the edges. Let me get up there so you can see that. These are adorable. Very nice. They look more expensive than a, whatever the $3, $5 price tag. Really, truly. Really. Oh, and look, I just picked, I just saw it. There's a blue one. Oh, wow. So they have an assorted amount of colors here. I really, really like these. This is really nice. I wonder how it lights up. If it's a light on the bottom, it is. You have a switch on the bottom. And then you have a light inside. You might have to pull a tab to make it work, so it's not gonna show up right now, but they have those. And then over here they have the lanterns with the um, floral decor on them. So I'm gonna make, oop, there was one on the top that fell. I did. And here it is. <laughs> nice catch. It's a um, caramel color, I would say, with the flowers on the top, and it has a, a, a candle inside already. That's pretty nice. But they also have a darker wooded colored one with white pumpkins on the top. And then they have a, a ivory or a cream colored one with the white flowers and stuff on the top like that. These are $5 a piece. And there's the black one in the back. These are very, very nice. This one's about to fall though. I don't know, maybe that means it needs to come with me. Is that what that means? I don't know, we'll see. We'll put it right there for a second while I'm looking. And then they have these little cans. They look like a watering can or um, like you'd put milk, old Tommy milk, they're tins. And this one says, happy fall, y'all. There's one back there. Put the pumpkin and the sunflower on it. They have some more of those watering cans down here. That one had a single handle. These have double handles. Um, this one says farm picks 50 cents each and has the uh, wheel, the wheelbarrow with the sunflowers, pumpkins, and gourds in it and a, um, a basket of apples. And then there's a blue one with a pumpkin. I like that one. It says harvest blessings. That's really nice. I like that. I might have to get that one. Put that in the cart. Oh, but wait. They have a green one. Look at that. It says welcome fall. And again, these are five dollars. And oh, they have a copper one down here. This is Welcome Fall, and it has the single handle like that one up there, but it's this one. That is so adorable. I love them all. So 
Um, I like the Harvest Blessings, but I wish that Harvest Blessings wording was on this one with the green, but it's not. So also, I don't want to miss anything. We have this uh, these shelf sitters. They're little animals. So these are cloth mostly. Whoops. Oops, I just want to pull one out so I can see his little legs. There he is. Looks like a little owl. And he's got a hat and his eyes are real big and he's got burlap twine and beads for legs and then the little felt feet. That's adorable and they just sit on the shelf and they look really cute. There's three dollars and then they have this little foxy one. Oh, isn't she adorable with all those fall colors? I love it. And then, oh my goodness. I just fell in love. It's a turkey. Check him out. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. That is really stinking cute. Okay, so turkey. Yeah, turkey, you got to come with me. That is going to work just right. It's got a little hat. Is that stuck on wrong? No, no, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so we got to go back. I'm so excited because of all of the colors and things here. Let's put these back in place. I don't want to mess up everything because it's nice and tidy. Okay, we also have these fall um, wreaths that look like a little basket that have the flowers, the burlap bow, and this wicker um, cover. And over here we have the wicker wreath with the flowers on it. That's really, really pretty. And this is what they look like. I showed you the picture, but here's what they really look like. Let's see if I can tease one out without causing an avalanche. That's nice and big. I like that. Looks like a bird's nest on the back. These are five dollars. Let's see what other... Are they all the same kind of colors? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, no, they're not. If you go in the back, <laughs> these have white pumpkins on them. There we go. That's the other one. So they have this style and that style. But they're like a cornucopia, Thanksgiving-ish, fall definitely vibes. And they're just adorable. You can make them yourself, but I like these anyway and then down here we've seen this before these are the 3d wooden pumpkins that you can build and stand up and then we have what is this this looks like a cheese board set five dollars that looks like a leaf with the word grateful and there's a cheese knife with it that is really nice that'd be a nice gift to take to thanksgiving dinner and if we move it over oh this one is a pumpkin and it says blessed I like that. We have grateful. We have blessed. Let's see if there's anything else down there. Do we need anything else? Those are really, really great. Yep. That's what they say. Let's see if there's any more. Nope, that's all there is. That's great. But then down here, we're going to get the mats. Blessed and thankful. Welcome. I see a checkered one coming. And there's the welcome again. And then hello pumpkin. Blessed, thankful. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> if you're a dog lover, gather together. That one says welcome to our patch. Patch. <laughs> I like that. They're five dollars. Then we have the hello with the gnomies. And there's the hello pumpkin again. I wonder how many of these different ones there are. Oh, look at that one. There's still another one. It says, oh, hello. <laughs> Is that... I'm going to have to put all these back. Hello, pumpkin, upside down. There's the welcome to our patch. I think that's all of the different ones. They're heavy. Hang on. Put them all back. <laughs> it took a minute for sure. All right, and down here, it looks like these are going to be placemats. What is this? Oh, it's a table runner. And this one says, give thanks on it. 70 inches long. I like that. Let's see if they have any more or different ones. I think I see some. Give me a second. And of course they do. Look at this one. It has leaves all along the sides. I like that one too. And let's see. 
there's another one. And it looks like this. I might have to decide. But right now I wanna take a look. And those are the three that I'm seeing. So let's put these back in here. Nice and tidy. For other folks. But those are beautiful. Okay, I'm working for this tonight. All right, so they have these fall Lazy Susans that say, hello fall, five bucks, and they do spin. <laughs> I really like that. They all say hello fall, and they have this little white decorative leaf wreath around it, which I like that. And then here we have the uh, PEVA tablecloth that's 52 inches by 70. They're $3. I'm assuming these are oblong because there's a little checkbox. And this one's sunflowers. They have some round ones. This one is 60 inch round and it's got the um, pumpkins and leaves with kind of a gray checkered background. There's a maroon one with the leaves. This one's round, but they do have some that are 52 by 90 that are $3. Here's some. Um, some more of the ones with the pumpkins and then what is this one? Oh, this has writing and it says nice things gather with grateful hearts happy pumpkin spice season yeah 52 by 90 for three dollars that's adorable let's see and then we have more of the sunflower ones and more of the pumpkins in different shapes and different sizes depending on what your need might be but those are pretty good that's pretty good then next to that, we've got pumpkins. These are not real pumpkins, of course. These are artificial pumpkins, and some are these dark, um, dark orange colors. There's the lighter traditional orange and the green. Um, I don't see any blue ones, but they might be in there. But here's a uh, a decor item. It's a um, uh, one of those rectangles, and it has a it's black, but then it has this light colored writing on it. And this side says grateful with a pumpkin harvest blessing hello fall gather blessed and give thanks this one's three dollars I'm gonna put that back where I found it next to that we have cloth pumpkins for three dollars these are different checkered black and white patterns I see some tan and white patterns and they have the stems I see some orange and white patterns um, and that's about all the colors I'm seeing in there right now but those are nice and above that we have the doors again like we saw at 4th of July looks like a barn door with a handle put that back in there it says welcome on it this is a light color with a light colored wreath around it with some pale flowers white ivory flowers and the leaves but then they have a darker one that says gather and it has darker leaves on it so they have those two and beside it, they have a gnome garland. It's gonna look like that. Right here for $3. This is 72 inches in length. And then here they have the pie garland. So it looks like apple pie or something, or pumpkin pie actually. And it says give thanks. And I think they have a couple of different pies. No, are they all the same? Yeah, they're the same. They have those here. And then above that we have the gather sign and it has these appliques that hang from it that are metal and they look like dark sunflowers and leaves so and then some of them oh that's a different sign back there let's see if we can gently nudge these things so we can see they're still gather i think this one's gonna be different it is it says harvest and it has pumpkin appliques on it instead of the gather and it's got a green green look to it all right and then next to that we have the porch leaners this one says welcome with the big sunflowers on it and then we have home sweet home see if I can back up a little so you can see that better in the blue and white and then behind that we have hello fall with the gnome look at that hello fall with the gnome at the bottom i like him and let's see behind that there's home again hello fall again 
welcome again. I think it's just going to repeat, but let's take a look. There's another welcome with just the pumpkins on it. I like that a lot. <gasps> Thankful. Oh, I like that one. Oh, and look at that one. This one's different, too. This one says um, something different. That one says welcome, but it has a darker color, red, and sparkles. And there's the pumpkin. And there's a black and white welcome. And there's the sparkle again. Happy fall, y'all. And blue. More of the black and white. And I'm covered up in these things because they're all leaning against my chest right now. Because I'm digging to see what we got. Okay, I think that's, the, is that the last one? Nope. And they're thankful again. Wouldn't that be last? Hang on. Okay, I got all those back in place. <laughs> and I didn't knock anything over. So, I've been good. But there's the thankful. Like that. And then above that, we have the 30 count LED leaf lights. They're really pretty. Standard leaf lights. And then, I'm going to move this back where I got it from. I'll put it over here out of the way for just a second. So, we could look. And... Now we're getting into some Halloween stuff. These are metal tabletop decors. It's a nice big round metal um, base. And then inside of it, we have three ghosts. And on top of the ghost, it says, Be Our Ghost. Like a play on Be Our Yes, and it's $5. Now I'm gonna move that aside to look at the next one. And this one, again, it's the tabletop decor. It's metal. And it's got a um, wood base right here. And then above it is this nice big circle base. And inside of it, it has the words magic happens. And has some goldish appliques with a, uh, a broom and a uh, witch's hat. Behind that one, there is this one. I don't want to knock anything over. And it's, oh, it's kind of interesting, right? It's a spooktacular and has the bones that make the circle with the skeleton heads of different sizes and it says spooktacular in the middle in purple. Again, it has the wood vase. And then there's the magic happens back there again. And that's the only spooktacular one I see. Below all that, we have some Halloween plush bags. This one looks like a kitty. His eyes, look at those iridescent eyes change colors. He looks a little mad. The bag is black, but it has those iridescent eyes. I think they're all kitties. Yep. Kitties, black kitties are associated with Halloween. But, whoops. Let's make sure that one gets back on the hook. And then down below that, we have some Halloween plush bags. This one looks like a pumpkin face in the bright orange. And then, oh, we have a bag that says poison and lavender. That's really cute. And then we have some tinsel garland that's orange and black. There's a bunch of those. And then on the other side, we have some hanging, excuse me, the seven foot hanging ghouls. This one's orange. And I think we have one that's like a ghost that's white. And then we have a black one down here. Oh, he looks mad. He looks really mad. And then over to the side, we've got one on the ground already. Let's put him back. We have more porch, porch leaners. This one says, welcome. And just letters with a pumpkin and then oh look at that one it says welcome with a skeleton head but the word the letters are actual bones so that's a black and white and then behind that we have the witches in in green the witches in in green and purple glitter with a witch hat and let's see what's behind that one there's welcome we've seen this one with the spider web and the eyeball and let's see if I can see what's behind that without causing any damage. Same thing. Trick or treat with a candy corn. I love that one. Okay. And then the next two of those, let's put these back. Let's set these back in place. There we go. And we have welcome in orange and black. And then we have the skeleton head right there. Or the skull, I should say. And these look all the same. Oh no. Here's one that the orange glitter that says beware. And the spiders on it. So it's all black. Let's see how many of those are we having here different. No. 
has all of those. So those are really nice as well. Above that, we have some assorted metal yard stakes that are $5, and they look like this. You have one that says Boo with the B, and then the two O's are actually pumpkins with a little ghost on top. And then you have Boo with the black lettering, and the OO has um, ghosts coming out of it. So there you go. Okay, and then we have the 29.5 inch spider. Y'all, I am not touching those things for you. I, I want to show you everything so I'll get close to them like this but I'm not touching that thing but they look like this <laughs> one has got all black and all those legs and this one has got white fur on top and they all both have these like beady red looking eyes look at that I, I don't want to no I'm sorry I just can't I'm not scared of spiders but I can't touch that okay and then down here we still have some more these are Halloween um, door uh, plate mats doormats not placement doormats we've seen some of these the spectacular the sweet home sweet haunted home oh this one i don't think i've seen what is this one it says i'm just here for the i'm just here for the treats <laughs> and then i think this one is the enter if you dare with the skeleton yep let's see if we see anything else there's the um fortune teller i'm pulling all these out i'm gonna have to put them all back Yep. Was that the enter? Yeah. Yep, there we go. That's all of them. Now I gotta put those back. I'll be right back. Okay, we got those all back in place. I'm so proud of myself. All right, so over here we have the um, the 15 foot spider whip for $5. We have the black cats. Um, these are five. And then here we have an assorted vintage framed art. And it looks like a rose sketched with a gray and black snake coiled around the rose and it looks like a mirror almost with this faux gray um, applique out, out on the outside of it and it has a lever so you can stand it up or it has a, um, a string so you can hang it so it's three dollars so behind the rose I found the lady I'm assuming she's a lady because she's got her hair up but she's a skeleton and then they also have the mister he's got on a top hat so they have these here so you could have a whole little family portrait if you would like we put those back so we, i'm also seeing these pumpkins that are nice size they have a little spider on them and they are covered in a black knit so it's very very soft and they look like spider webs on the pumpkins so those are really nice they have some that are like a more gray color and then they have black ones but they do have those spiders on them and it looks like they might have some that are like a maroon color i'm about to grab the one with touch the spider part i don't want to do that oh, i gotta pick that one up but that's the maroon one that's a really nice interesting look and they're not super light they're pretty heavy actually they're not heavy but um they're heavier than the other ones that i have seen and then down here we have the sequin pumpkins reversible sequin pumpkins and this one is these are five dollars a piece we have gold silver that's blue for sure i think this is black yeah those are the colors on it okay and next to that we have some pumpkin sets let's say it's a triple pumpkin stack for five dollars and this one's silver little pumpkin on top of silver the one next to it like a it's like a snowman statue almost this one's white with black dots and the bottom one is black but they have ones that have a green top oh there's a spider on it a green top an orange pumpkin and then a black bottom and then they have ones back there that have a purple top black middle and green on the bottom and they have the little spiders that go with them <clears throat> and then i'm seeing the inflatables we have a um four foot tall inflatable ghost for five dollars uh inflatable pumpkin for five dollars the the glow in the dark skeleton um this is another set of inflatable stacked pumpkins and it repeats and then we have more black kitties up here we have some plushes this is of course a candy corn for five dollars halloween pillow is what they're calling it and then we have the black kitty face and we have a black 
bat. Ooh, vampire bat, in fact. And beside those, we have more lanterns. These are $5 each. We have one that just looks old, almost churchish with the decor, almost with a little spider web, and it has its votive inside. We have one that's gray looking that has a skull on each side. And it looks like that's all the different patterns I'm seeing for these. They're heavy and they're very nice. So these are different from the ones that I saw yesterday. But hey, those are really nice. Next to this, we have the candy corn pom-pom garland for $3. And this is what it looks like. It is seven feet. And they have several of those. Next to that, we have assorted tinsel wreaths for $5. They look like this because I don't think I'm going to be able to pull them all out. But here's the one with the pumpkins. And we'll go to the side and look. They have one that has the little um, ghosty Frankenstein look. And then in the back, there's the purple with the bats. And then we have more of the pillows. This one is a pumpkin face. And then next to that, we have some signs. This says it's a bunch of Hocus Pocus. It's a stand-up sign. And behind that, it says Hocus Pocus Candy Shop trick-or-treaters welcome I like that so I'm moving these two because I think I'm gonna grab that but I want to see what's behind it stop in for a spell <laughs> I like the pun on that one stop in for a spell these are nice size too and then that one says double double toil and trouble I put a spell on you and there it goes, it just repeats. But those are some very nice signs. So I'm gonna put these back over here. Back at the spot, yes I am. And then we are grabbing this guy. So put that in my cart. Move my cart now next to me. Uh oh, where did you come from, baby? You don't go right there. Did I knock you off? Hmm. It's a green pumpkin. I don't think he should be out here. I think he's supposed to be in here. Yes, he's supposed to be in there with his friends. Okay. So we're gonna walk back down here. We have some assorted fabric stacked pumpkins. I missed these, they're $3. They look like this. They have a orange pumpkin with the webbing, like a spider webbing, with a black pumpkin on top that has white polka dots. And we have another one that's a black pumpkin with webbing and an orange pumpkin on top with diamond black knit and it looks like this. Oh, look at that webbing. It's very silvery and shiny. That's pretty awesome. Oh, this doesn't go up there. This goes down here. Let's put him back. Oh, and he lost his spider. Give him back his spider. Okay. And then underneath this stuff, we have all these gnomies. I don't think I can go through all of these gnomies, but look, they're $3, they're 16 inches, and they're all the different, this one looks like a witch, and she's got a broom, and this one has a, a lavender felt hat, um, these look like the Halloween ones, oh, he's got a ghost, <laughs> and there's another witch, they have a lot of them here, there's a little, oh, he's got fangs, that's a vampire one back there, okay. And then below that, we have more of those spiders that I am just not going to touch for y'all. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Then we've got the little blankets that we've seen. These are plush throws. This is a little fun looking um, ghost. And let's see if it shows us what it looks like when it's open. Yeah, here it is. There's what it looks like when it's opened up. Five dollars. And then we have the other fun ghosts that look like this. They're holding little cauldrons like they're going trick-or-treating. And then and this is my favorite. It has spiders on it and it's kind of silvery and looks like a spider web. Again, it's five dollars. Let's see if there's any more. <laughs> looks like all they have right there. But then down here they have the Thanksgiving throws. Isn't that pretty? That's leaves and stuff on it. Five dollars. And, oh, I don't think I've seen this one ever. Wow, that's really pretty. It's got the pumpkins on it, and it says fall. Love it, and it's orange. That's really pretty. They're very soft. Um, 
I know nothing about how they'll hold up there in washing, but they're really pretty. And that's the same one we just saw. Okay, and they have a mauvey one here, and this one is gnomies. Look at all those gnomies. <laughs> Fall gnomies. And then we have the sunflower one for five dollars. And then it looks like we repeat. Let's see if there's a different one back there. Nope. That's more sunflowers. Oh wait, this one might be different. Nope, it's the same. So they have those little fall throws. We have some bat pom pom garland for three dollars. It looks like this. <laughs> and then on over we got these candles. This caught my eye because they say bleeding skull candle. Five dollars. And this is how it's supposed to bleed or something. I would put something under it. I'm not sure how that's gonna but they have a black one that's very shiny and then they have a white one that looks a little realistic to me. And you can kind of see the red in there. So we have a bunch of those and then we have more of the spider webs. More of and this is a candy corn garland. Looks like that when it's out. Three dollars. It's 92 inches in length. So that, that's in its spot right there. And then we have the um, garden gnomes or the garden fairy garden stuff. This one is we've seen this already, but I didn't like get up close. But this is what it looks like. This is the the graveyard one. And then here's a ghost one. That's really really cute. For, these are five dollars. And then here's the witch one. There she is with her cauldron. It says boo on it. Okay, so we have those. And then underneath that, we've got some flocked pumpkin garland that's six feet long for three dollars. And these are nice size. These are pretty big, like tennis ball size. And then we have the 20 count LED skeleton light set. Those look pretty big. They're the full skeleton, not just the skull. They're five dollars. And then we have the five foot spider spider web lights has eight functions it's five dollars 60 LED lights they have a lot of those I don't think they're different colors I think they change colors this one shows kind of purple and then this one looks white but I think they just change colors and then underneath that we have the candles we've seen this is a pumpkin one with the LED on the top nice and then we have the decor which this is a double-headed skull white one smaller one on top black one on the bottom and the white one's wearing a crown on its head it's just decor and then we have more of those um, there's the one with the crown again we have more of the this is a silver skull with a cat on the top and then we have a gold skull with the bird or the raven on the top we have some ravens down here wow this one's oh no that's an owl look at that He's got purple eyes and um, black body and blue wings. And there's a couple of those guys down here. But look at those. How neat are those? A couple of owls. I have to think about those. How much were those? Five bucks. Five bucks. They're pretty well made. Lightweight though. And we have more of the gold heads, figure heads. We have some silver ones here. Still, I won't put that back up. Those are kind of hard to stand up because they're like a little awkward weight. All right. Oops. See, kind of want to lean over. And then back here we have the candle holder. We've seen this is seven inches and it has the raven. It's three dollars. And they also have the one with the skull in it back here. It's gold with a skull. Again, it's um, seven inches and it's three dollars. And then underneath that, here's more of the bleeding candles. And then we actually have some real candle candles. Bleeding pillar candle. It's five dollars. This one is black with uh, it looks like gold fingers wrapping around it. And then we have oh, I like this one. It's five dollars and it's skull faces all over it, so it gives a silver look. And there's more of those. Oh, here we go. Here's a brain. Ew. Okay, it feels funky. 
<laughs> it feels weird. Whoa, don't fall over Mr. Owl. It's $5 and again, it's a bleeding candle. So it looks like a brain. And they have one that looks like a heart, like a real heart. And then here's rib cage. And then they have this one that's a cauldron. It says witch's brew. I wonder if that's a bleeding candle or it does not really tell me. It just, just says witch's brew. Interesting. And then they have these that look like a vial. It says vampire's blood on it. And yeah, it's apothecary candle, so it's gonna ooze green. I don't know if you can see that oozy green, and it's five dollars. And then they have one that says spider venom. Same thing, apothecary candle. And so yeah, that's the ones I'm seeing. Let's put the uh, oozy skull back. And I don't know about the witch's brew. I'm kind of interested in maybe purchasing it's purple on the top, but I don't know. And then down here, we have the two-tiered ghost tray. A little ghost around it. And we have two-tiered spiderweb tray. And let's see, this is that spider. Let's see what else is back here. Oh, there's some skulls. That's a spider, though. There's the ghost tray. I'm just wondering if there's any different one. Nope. You have ghosts or spiders. Those are your choices. Those are neat, right? For decorating. Two tiers, you could put some different things on it that are scary. Look, they show you right here kinds of things you could put on it. Little pumpkins and maybe one of these bleeding candles. You're going to need to put that on something or it's probably going to make a mess. And then they have these little trays. Look at that black cat apothecary potions and brew. Stop in for a spell. I like it. See if they all say that. Nope. This one is a raven on a skull. You got the raven on the skull. Oh, there's another new one. Hocus Pocus. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. There you go. But if you're looking for something to put your decor on or in, or you could just stand this up like that, that's very cute for Halloween. Wow. Wow. I'm amazed. This is all at the same Dollar Tree. Wow, that was something, wasn't it? So I turned the corner and look here on this end cap. They have all these beautiful already. Look at this. Nice and green. Kind of a mauve, orange, and purple. And they have the nice pretty flowers already put in there for you. How neat is that? These are $5. And then we have the wood stand-up sign. This one says blessed and thankful. Hello pumpkin and blue. Welcome fall in the traditional taller pumpkin. And then back here we have home. Sentimental pumpkin. Three dollars. Three dollars. This one is three dollars. And it's got this nice applique on it. Oh, that's really nice. And then they have these pump this is resin, but it's textured and then you have blue white and orange of these tiered texture pumpkins and then down here we have the assorted floral bouquets in the tin with the burlap around it those are very very nice they have a white color of flowers and then this one is the the really traditional fall ones look at that that's very nice these are five dollars and then we have more decor pumpkins oh these are soft like pillows this one is yellow. We have kind of a mauve, dark red color. This one's green and orange. We have a checkered blue and white. There's some ivory ones back there. Yeah. And some different color ones um, back there. Here's some just checkered ones there. And I almost missed these. These are um, the stackable pumpkins. There's three. There are the stakes that go in the ground. Metal pumpkin stakes, $5. They got an ivory one and they have the traditional back there like that really pretty so Dollar Tree you're amazing I just have to figure out which porch leaner I want I can't decide oh well well 
thank you for coming along. I hope you found something of interest. I hope you will take care, subscribe, uh, share, and like. And we'll take you along on the next trip. God bless you. Take care. Thank you for coming. See you again very, very soon.